Well, here we are on the Provo River. It's in the fall. I'm trying to catch a trout. There's one. It's uh, spawning time for the browns. And that's, that's what I've got here. We're, we're actually looking to catch some rainbows that are, that are below the spawning beds. And I'm below, below the spawning bed here, but uh, oh, it's, a, it's a brown trout. Shouldn't complain. It's, it's a lot of fun to catch brown trout, but I thought we'd catch a rainbow. Turn loose. I was in a good spot there. Now I'm in a different spot. I'm casting upstream, and this is a difficult place because the current's coming down. I can't get a good drift. The, the, the trout are there, but uh, I'm not getting them. I'm not getting a good drift. I'm getting a lot of hits, and they're spitting it out. No, you would think that's a good location, but it's not. I kept trying at it and let it drift down below me and so forth. And uh, I was almost sure that I'd get something. But finally, it drifted below me, and I got one. <laughs> I got a good drift by it because it was below me, and it wasn't it wasn't uh, uh, looking unnatural. This is a nice trout. This is this is about a 17, 18 inch brown. You know, I guess you shouldn't complain if, if you want to catch rainbows with getting browns like that. Turn him loose. Let him go back and spawn. Yeah. Now we're above the spawning bed and my, my friend Dan is casting. I'm putting it out there so he's drifting it and mending and so forth. And, he did this a number of times. I'm just showing it once or, or twice, but and then I tried it, and uh, you would think that we'd get them that way. The the the, the, the uh, egg pattern is out that way, but but we're not getting a good drift there. Just what we call micro drag. The fish just are not having that. So back below, the good spot there. This is easy inside of a bend. First cast on that for Dan in that time. Another brown, same place I was a minute ago. Play him in. Notice we're not wading around in the stream. You don't want to get in the stream and just step in the spawning beds and so forth like that if you can help it. If you do wade across, the, watch the look on the bottom. Just using an egg pattern. We're really trying to target the rainbows that are feeding on the brown hatch, but uh, this guy jumped on it, so I'm just gonna let him go and get back to the let him go and get back to the spawn. Dan's at it again there. Keep a low profile, that's a good thing. There's another one. Yeah, is it we're we're not in the water. If you if you walk through the beds and so forth, that that uh, disturbs them, and you know it could destroy the destroy the uh, the uh, opportunity for the eggs to hatch. Dan's catching browns here below the spawning beds. Uh, the, these fish are big enough to spawn themselves, but they're not the primary fish. The primary, the bigger fish are actually above. Uh, bigger. This is like these are like 16 inch plus fish, but there's some bigger ones up above. But we couldn't catch them. I got to admit it, we just couldn't catch them, but they were busy spawning, and and uh, and these these fish were were waiting for an egg to come down, and they they were on top of it. Same song, second, third verse, bang, got another one. We're using small egg patterns and an inline rig. We got a float, got a sinker about a foot or so above the, or a couple feet above the the uh, egg pattern and just drifting it down through there. It's a light rig. Dan's got 5X on there and and uh, if he gets a big one he would lose it but uh, these are not really big. These are not a huge fish. <laughs> it's loaded with them in there. I'm enjoying this but I'm, I'm on the camera here and, and uh, uh, I could have just run it, just straight run it here for these fish. But I was stopping it every once in a while to, to uh, see if I need to make adjustments. So, you quit fishing this hole 
Because it was too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. These poor these poor browns are, are spawning. And uh, you know, we're trying to catch a few rainbows that are feeding on the, the spawn and we're just catching browns and I made what six casts and catch six fish. It's yeah, well, I don't need to stand here and catch forty fish. We, yeah, you know, but, we can catch but, some fish. They're eating the eggs, you know. They're, yeah. It's okay to catch them, right? Uh there's a lot of browns yeah, in there. Well, I wanted to catch a rainbow. And so we yeah. moved and we tried to do something different. Uh, it's Put it this way, I'm not going to learn anything doing this 40 more times. It's so fun. it's a lot of fun. It's but a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but six was good enough for me. Six in a row. I don't know if you, you broke that up or not while you were filming it, but that could have been one continuous take. The, the longest break was me taking the hook out of the fish's mouth awesome. and then throwing back again. So, uh, so, so, so we're on the Provo River. Lower Provo. It's, uh, uh, it was, yesterday was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I got to, I'm still full of turkey. It's in the afternoon. It's the afternoon. It's about to get dark. We're not so, watching the football. No, I'll watch football after dark. We'll That's fish right. in the daylight. All right. That's a deal. Okay. All right. Okay.